Hey guys, it's Marco here, back once again from my color screen, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today's home screen is a screen of the day by BR Kotux or Kotux, and it is called BK's SD. Here it is. Let us begin with today's tutorial. This home screen is perfect for someone who wants their screen to stand out, but as well as provide all the functionality that you need for an everyday use. Starting from the top, we've got this clean Google feel that when tapping button, save for that Google icon, brings up our Google search. Going back, we can see it's got a little weather display that looks really cool with these icons. Moving down, we've got this subtle red color that provides us with our calendar, our battery, the weather, and finally at the bottom we've got indicators for our email messages and missed calls. Would you like to know how to recreate this Android theme for your phone? Well, let us begin with today's tutorial. Okay, moving on to the Apex settings. Apex Launcher was used just because Nova Launcher might give some trouble with the widget sizes and positioning. So try Nova. If it doesn't work, you might have to switch to Apex or even Holo Launcher if none of those work for you. So we're going to start off by going into our Apex settings. We want to go into our home screen settings and then into portrait grid. Now for this Galaxy S2, a 10x10 screen grid was used. But that's just because of its sizing. This screen was originally designed for a Nexus 4. So for, if you have a Nexus 4, you want to change it to a 10x8. That works pretty well, maybe even for a Galaxy S3. So you want to go OK. So obviously if one of those don't work for you, you might just have to play around. You want your margins on none. Manage screens, obviously you just want one screen. The rest you can leave out except right at the bottom you want to take off notification bar and hide the icon labels. You don't need those. Next you want to go into your dock settings. You want to scroll down you want to disable the dock. You want to select hide dock. Next you want to go into behavior settings. Now home key action showing you to show your app draw is quite a good thing to have if you just because there's no physical app draw icon to bring up your app draw. So just selecting that will help. If you don't want to do that however you can still go into your gestures such as swipe up or double tap whatever you want to bring up either your app draw or your notification bar at the top both work really well for gestures finally you want to go into your advanced settings and you want to scroll to resize any widget you want that enabled as well as overlapping widgets this really helps if your phone is not a nexus 4 just because of all the widgets that might need to be placed and it might get a bit tricky so you want to go back and that is our apex launcher settings complete next we'll be moving on to the wallpaper which is quite an easy thing to do. Let's go there. Okay, next is the wallpaper. Now this isn't too important if you have a Nexus 4, but other screens such as an S3 or an S2, you might show gaps in between certain widgets. So you just want to select a plain white wallpaper. Doesn't matter where you go to get a white wallpaper. Great, and there's our wallpaper. It's just a plain white wallpaper, nothing special about it. Next, we'll be moving on to the widgets. Okay, starting off with our widgets, we're going to be placing the UCCW skins onto the home screen. So to start off with the UCCW widgets, you want to hold down, select widgets, and you want to scroll to UCCW. Now it doesn't really matter what size you choose as you'll be resizing them anyway. Once it's opened up, you want to go into open UZIP and you want to basically import the skins that have been provided for you onto your phone. So you want to look for the one called BK's WB shapes and here they are these are the only ones that you will be needing so obviously they go in order one two three four and five so let's start off with one so you I've already imported mine so I'm just gonna overwrite and you select the hand and it'll bring it up now if you've got a Nexus 4 that is great because I'll be giving you the dimensions for each one of these on the side right here so we're gonna add in this one first place it there next we're gonna add in them one by one there is our next shape, here is shape 3, here is our shape 4, and finally our shape 5 at the bottom here. So now as you can see these look a bit strange for a Galaxy S2, obviously for a Nexus 4 and a Galaxy S3 they should look a bit better than this. So all you have to do now because it's UCCW you can do some tinkering and make it look perfect though just the way you want it okay great the next thing you want to add or well, the next widget you want to add is eye and sky weather widgets so you want to put it here so you want to make that widget a bit smaller that you CCW and you want to go select hold on the home screen select widgets and you want to look for this eye and sky widget it's a great free app you want to select forecast 
to be forecasting for the entire week or so. Great, now you want to select Climacon's dark for your icons. Text color, you want it to be black. And you can take off the edit dots and show refresh if you want. Don't have to. So you just go OK. And then it should appear quite small, but you can just resize it now. Cool, so there we have our resized widget. Obviously for the Nexus 4, you'll be able to see them all correctly. It's just for the S2, doesn't work as well. So you just want to hold it down, send to back. So the next thing we want to do now is to send this or resize this UCCW over the weather widget like that. And you want to hold down on it, send to back, boom. There we have our weather widget fitting into place right there. Finally, our last widget we want to add is our simple calendar widget, which we'll be adding over there. So we just want to resize this red one over here. And then we want to go hold down, select widgets. And you want to look for simple calendar widgets. Doesn't really matter which one you want to use. Let's go for medium. So as you can see, you might not be able to see it too well depending on what setting you have it as. But don't worry though, if you resize it all the way and then select the sidebar, it'll bring up the editor. And now this is where the fun begins for this widget. What you can do is pretty much change anything about it. But I recommend going into appearance, changing your, your background color to be transparent, going into your font options, making everything white and a little bit smaller than usual, as well as going into the skin, choosing that one and going options. The preferred alternative layout was the one with event dates, time, text, and then location like this. Your line color made it transparent and your date text width zero. And that's pretty much it. You just go select the tick and you want to resize it so it only takes up half the screen. Now we can resize that big red one back to where it was. Now we just need to resize the rest a bit. Cool, and there we have it, showing you that you can still recreate a Nexus 4 designed home screen onto any phone such as an S2. There we have our home screen completed, our video tutorial completed. Thank you very much guys for watching. Don't forget to go and to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And also please like, share or comment on this video. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen and I'll see you around next time.